Princess Diana's niece, Kitty Spencer, just married a billionaire and wore five different wedding gowns. Five! And Kate Middleton's pretty midi dresses were the perfect match for the stands at Wimbledon. From Lady Kitty's wedding looks to Kate's tennis get-ups to a very dapper cameo from Little Prince George, we're bringing you up to speed on this summer's top royal style moments. Welcome to Royal Roundtable. I'm Page Six Style Editor Alana. And I'm Director of Audience Engagement and Social Media, Kristen. The Royals are really bringing their fashion A-game these days. None more so than Lady Kitty Spencer. She's the model daughter of Diana's younger brother, Charles, making her a first cousin of Prince William and Prince Harry. Kitty married 62-year-old billionaire fashion businessman Michael Lewis in Rome on July 24th. And throughout her wedding weekend, the bride wore a whopping five different custom gowns by Dolce & Gabbana, a designer she's modeled for since 2017. For her walk down the aisle, she wore a Victorian-inspired white lace gown with a high neck, long sleeves, and puffed shoulders that's been drawn comparisons to both the late Princess Di's dress and to Kate Middleton's. Designer Domenico Dolce told Tatler that Kitty wanted a fairly traditional dress with a timeless allure, while Stefano Gabbana described her as, quote, a girl who is very attached to her origins, to England, to her heritage of the great Victorian era. But that wasn't actually Kitty's first wedding dress. On Friday, she celebrated in a baby blue tulle gown and cape embroidered with cross-stitched flowers. How's that for something blue? And after Saturday's ceremony, Spencer changed into an off-the-shoulder hand-painted white organza gown embellished with flowers and crystals for dinner. Then she hit the dance floor in a metallic cocktail dress fully embroidered with gold and silver beads. Definitely a party perfect look. And the wedding extravaganza continued into Sunday with, of course, yet another dress. A cutwork number embellished with tiny sequins, applique flowers, and ribbons. One hell of a brunch outfit, if you ask me. You're telling me, Alana, I was about to wear pajamas to my bridal brunch. So I feel like I say this all the time on the show, and it's not because I'm so self-centered. It's just because I've been trying to get married for two years. But I do feel like Kitty's dress, her main wedding gown, is extremely similar to my gown that I will hopefully be wearing this October. I love the timeless shape. I love the long lace sleeves. It's, it's my favorite, favorite type of wedding dress. You know what's funny? Kristen is, I could say the same. We're both 2020 brides who are now getting married at the end of this year. And my favorite was actually her blue rehearsal dinner gown um, with the sort of tulle cape and the embellished or embroidered flowers. Um, not dissimilar from the shape of my dress for my big day, although not in blue. Although, yeah, that's a really great something blue idea. Now, while the wedding was filled with fashion, one style was surprisingly absent, a tiara. The bride skipped out on the traditional royal headwear, even though the Spencer tiara was worn by both her mother Victoria and her late aunt Diana on their respective wedding days. It also made appearances at the weddings of Diana's two older sisters. Honestly, when you've got five couture dresses to work with, who needs a crown? And as I'm sure you could imagine, Alana, our readers on social media had a lot to say about this over-the-top fashion extravaganza, as well as Kitty's new, much older hubby. One person said, the dress looks lovely, but old billionaire husband is telling. Well, another kept it short and sweet saying, now that's a dress, which I have to agree with. Which one? <laughs> Suffice to say, Kitty's wedding was the royal style event of the season. But Kate Middleton also made a strong showing at Wimbledon in early July, starting with this pleated polka dot Alessandra Rich midi skirt she paired with a navy smike blazer and white tee. By the way, if that skirt looks familiar, it's probably because the Duchess owns the dress version too. She was back for the Lady Singles Final in this bright green midi dress from one of her favorite designers, Amelia Wickstead. A perfect match for that famous grass court, no? Totally. And she opted for even more color at the men's finals the following day, wearing this pretty pink belted dress by Beulah London. I'm giving her bonus points for that amazing vintage beaded clutch and for the fact that she switched out her favorite blue floral face mask for a pink version to match. Always detail-oriented, that Kate. Oh, and by the way, if you're wondering what's up with that little green and purple bow she wore on all her dresses, it's a sign of her royal patronage of the All England Lawn Tennis and Croquet Club. I have to admit that pink dress on Kate was by far my favorite. I loved the belt detail. I thought the color was perfect on her. I just really am so enjoying watching her step up her style game over and over. She continues to pleasantly surprise me and I'm just loving every second of it. But 
moving on because our summer edition of Royal Roundtable would not be complete without some Prince George who recently celebrated his eighth birthday and twinned with his dad, Prince William, at the Euro 2020 championship game between England and Germany in late June. That perfectly miniature navy blazer, the tiny striped tie and the UK flag's colors, it's almost too much for my heart to handle. This kid seriously just keeps getting cuter. Like, how is it possible? A future king and a fashion king, if you will. Yes, I love that. So which of these royal style moments stole your heart? And do you think five wedding dresses is too many or just enough? Let us know in the comments and we'll see you next time. Are you as obsessed with the royal family and royal fashion as we are? Then click below to subscribe so you never miss an episode.